Ciao a tutti! Today I am back to Italy, northwestern part of the country. I am in Liguria and while I'm waiting for the waves to pick up, I thought I would tell you something about coastal currents. So, if you have ever been at sea and if you have ever been at sea with some waves, you probably have realized at some point that some sort of force is dragging you towards one side of the other. And those are not waves, those are coastal currents. So how do they form? Well, first of all, we need to divide two things. There might be tidal currents, which I'm not gonna talk about, but they're basically created by the coming in or going out of the tides, so pushing water inside or outside of a bay and then causing currents inside the, a bay or a beach. And then there are wave-generated currents. Now here today you can see that we have waves coming from that direction. Well, those waves coming from that direction are creating a coastal current which is directed towards that cape that you see down there. So this is called longshore current. You can see that the, when the waves are breaking, they are sort of bringing water towards that direction. Okay, that's a longshore current. That's the most typical current you can see uh, in uh, an open sea like, uh, like here. But what happens when there are two different longshore currents coming one against each other with uh, different directions? Well, in that case, another kind of current is created, which is called rip current. Well, a rip current is not directed along the shore like these ones, but is directed towards offshore. Those currents are particularly dangerous because they drag you towards the open ocean. And in some situations where there, is a par there are particular situations of waves or when uh, um, there are particular geological configurations, rip currents can be very, very dangerous because they drag you out very fast out at sea and uh, they drag you also a little bit down towards the sea bottom. So what do you do when uh, you are caught in a rip current? Well, the easiest thing to do is to swim parallel to the shoreline. Never swim towards the shore against the current. You will never beat that current, but just swim out of it. With some luck, you're gonna be caught by a longshore current and it's gonna drag you along the shore to a place where you can hopefully reach safety. So this was it about uh, sea currents. Uh, as you see, uh, longshore currents uh, are also causing sediments to be transported along the shore. So these waves here are basically today transporting sediments along the shore towards that direction. And uh, rip currents instead bring sediments out at sea. So if you want to know more about uh, sea, about curiosities, geology of our coastlines, follow me on my YouTube channel. And for the moment, this is it from Liguria, praying for waves. I hope this well is gonna pick up. Ciao a tutti.